Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and I am back with part two of this really crazy good consignment that um, we started unboxing in part one. There was that amazing um, necklace um, and it's by Donald Stannard. It took me a minute to remember his name, but of course the second I signed off, I forgot it. I mean, the second I signed off, I remembered who it was. So we're gonna go ahead and complete this consignment. There's still a lot to go through. I just did another dive. So if you were interested in working with me or interested in having me sell your jewelry, um, just reach out. My uh, email address is in the description below. Just shoot me an email. It's PrestonStreetMarket at gmail.com. And it's Preston ST Market. So street is shortened. So let's go. Freedom. That's pretty. It's very pretty, actually. Very, very pretty. This has been a really fun consignment so far. I have just really enjoyed everything. So this looks like pieces of amber. I know you can see the inclusion. So we have Baltic amber. We have um, egg yolk amber. Just absolutely beautiful. have a gold tone piece gold tone little um, sphere here with chain very pretty very long necklace and it has these little blue rhinestone crystals definitely sweater length or layer however you prefer to wear it. I'm not seeing a mark anywhere, um, but this is nice. There's a little bit of wear to the gold tone, but that's not bad, and it's to be expected with vintage jewelry. I think this is Chico's. Let's see. Yep, that's Chico's. Nice silver tone, statement style. This is interesting. So white wooden beads, and then you've got these sort of textured wooden beads, and then this mother of pearl, these coins. Hmm. Super boho. I might give it a whirl. Might give it a whirl and see what happens. Oh boy. I'm not a fan of this wired jewelry. It is a tangle hazard to the extreme. And it, it just really does not hold up unless it's sitting on the neck, the neck display or being worn. Okay. Silver tone, a tassel, very long tassel. This is definitely sweater length. I like this a lot. This is a long piece. And I love these beads. Very art glass, very fantastic. Oh, and there's even some wooden ones. So this is super colorful and interesting. Mm. So this is a little seed bead necklace, yeah. And you've got this dangle. So there was a bracelet that we saw in part one that probably was meant to go with that. So I'll probably pair them together. Right, this looks like a little gemstone chip necklace. It's just sort of gemstones. So we have a gold tone. Nice, long, sweater length, layered, layered type piece. Nice spicy seed beads. Yeah, so I have this long, dangly seed bead piece. Which 
Mission Closure. Alright. There's some little pieces here. This is some type of Jasper. I cannot remember the name of it. Um, that's very pretty. I'm surprised it's not set in sterling, but it is very nice. Ooh, these are pretty. Huh. Coldwater Creek is another one that makes really good jewelry, and it's expensive. Those are cool. Definitely, definitely different. like a toggled piece. Those are glass pearls and a very heavy teardrop pendant. That's a heavy piece. Okay, silver tone. Some faceted crystals here. Very pretty. Forgive me, I'm not feeling that great, so I'm a little stuffy and sound gross, but we're here and we're doing jewelry. All right, so these are also glass pearls with some faceted glass. Got a really long piece. We're seeing a lot of, in the second part, a lot of modern stuff. So these are glass pearls also. These are vintage though. This might be Rich Lou. It's not as Cacherelle, Cacheré, however you say that name. It's vintage. Cacherelle. That's a goodie. And beautiful glass pearls. <clears throat> oh my. Look at this beauty. We have a Perrier. Perrier. This is very riveted. With this closure, I'm wanting to say it's probably Austrian. I could be wrong. Look how gorgeous. We have a true Perrier. Perrier. Three piece set. That's gorge, gorge, gorge. Thank you very much. All right, so these are white acrylic beads. Definitely vintage. There is some staining that's probably from um, makeup or um, just dirty. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, I love stuff like this. Look how beautiful. So you've got cinnabar with enameling and then you've got cinnabar beads with enameling and then this hook closure and this is long that's super cool so this would i guess be worn maryland style yeah that is fun 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 i love him and i already know who will buy that i love all my customers and I know their taste and my sweet little customer whose name is Doris. I know she's not on YouTube, but she wouldn't mind me saying her name, but Miss Doris, she loves Cinnabar. Beautiful faceted glass. Okay, so you've got this like mesh tubing and then a silver tone chain. Interesting piece. Wow, you know, this, this viewer, she has some amazing stuff. I love these cloisonne. Oh, look. Oh, that's fantastic. And you've got this beautiful, let me look at the closure. Yeah, this might be jet. This might actually be jet, faceted jet. Mm. This is a 
big boy. So you've got like mother of pearl, shell, seed bead, felt back. Let's go for another dive. I can see the end of the box, barely. <laughs> More seed beads. This is a seed bead collar. Definitely vintage. I've listed these many times and I don't have a market for them and it's a shame because that's a lot of time uh, put into that. Oh, how pretty. It's like a faceted cobalt. So this is like art glass for sure. You see it's blown, you can tell by that. And then you've got these hand knotted crystals and a barrel closure. I think I love it. Thank you, I think thank you. This one is paparazzi, I'm pretty sure. It's very pretty. Very nice construction. Oh boy. Seed bead, seed bead. This looks like a cold water creek. Yep. Again, I think we've talked about this before. Their stuff can be expensive. And that's all glass. Very nice long piece. Right, so we have some faceted um, turquoise acrylic um, necklace. carved animals. That's some kind of wood or resin. I don't think it's wood. I think it's more on the resin side. And then um, assorted gemstones. That might be like a tribal um, market piece when you're in other countries. You've got a market. That's the kind of stuff that you might find. Oh, she's pretty. Got these little filigree cups with little faux pearls. Definitely she's vintage. We lost the amethyst chip. It's a little amethyst chip necklace in very good condition. This I know is also a paparazzi. I've seen this before. Silver tone. These is a this is a very thin, very lightweight, very long necklace. Let me back us out a little bit. So we have gold tone. We have something here. Disney. Well, Disney, a oh, little Mickey Mouse. She's sweet. Very long pearls. And these are glass pearls. If you can't tell by all the noise they make. And they're signed, probably Sterling. Signed Japan, really nice. Um, we, I'm gonna set this aside in my clean pile. If I can't get that off, and I'll have to go into the lots, which is okay. Some stuff ends up in a lot, in a lot pile, and sometimes the lots do really well, and sometimes not. So, oh, this is a tangled mess. Let's see, who are you? Ali Khan, faceted glass. I'm gonna put this aside so that I can untangle her. Ali Khan is decent. This might be, that's loft. Long sweater length, crystal necklace. Also glass pearls, definitely vintage. Another set here, no closure. Both of them are glass and they're very pretty. They make a really pretty sound. Sterling silver set. Oh, snakeskin. 
Yeah, I think there's a snake skin. Ooh. And signed. So it's definitely sterling, and then it's also signed by the artist. And then it looks like, yeah, matching earrings. It's definitely snake skin. You don't ever want to come up on the snake that went into making this, that's for sure. If I see a snake, I run. Actually, I pass out, then I run. I don't do well with snakes. It's a fun little piece. It's clears. Definitely tell that's kid's jewelry. Okay, we have this piece. Beautiful art glass. And you've got these little um, silver tone spacer charms. They're very pretty. I think this will be our last dive. I think I can get it all out on the table. to the end. So these are glass pearls. Really pretty vintage glass pearls. They're in good shape. This is also a paparazzi necklace. Fashion, fashion jewelry. got some cording and then you've got these faceted little cluster stations here faceted crystal mm. this is a long piece nice faceted crystal on a gun metal Silver pearls. Yeah, these are beautiful Baroque pearls. Almost look like Kichi pearls. So, 925. So, I don't know, these might be little uh, hematite beads. And then you've got these gorgeous, those are genuine. Beautiful, big, big Baroque pearls. Just want to eat them. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Let's see here. Who are we? Joseph Noguchi. Never heard of you, but we're going to research you. Oh, look at this fun plastic. Oh no, this, this is Lucite. Look at that old hand knotting. This is fantastic. That's getting a spot in the show. Looks like we have a little figural of some sort. We do a little happy cow, she's sweet. She's modern, but I don't care. I'm going to give her a shot. Sterling. Oh, yeah. This is old, old spun silver. Really old shepherd's hook. Closure. You've got that spun silver filigree beauty. So this might be origami owl. I'm not sure like a cage for their little trinkets that you would put in there. Set with silver tone. Mm. We've got seed bead and little pieces of shell. Little mother of pearl shell.
So these are Lucite. Some faux tortoise Lucite earrings. They're fantastic. Gold and gold. This is Paparazzi. It's in good shape. This is actually like some sort of, not resin, but um, it's not metal. Looks like we found a sterling piece. This looks like Judith Jack. 925. Very pretty. Gorgeous marcasites. Are we missing some? Yeah, it's missing some marcasites. I'm still going to sell it. It'll sell as scrap. But you can see those spots that look discolored. That's where the marcasites have come off. Marcasites, I have some, but sometimes it is very, very hard to reset a marcasite um, because they come in so many different sizes, um, which all rhinestones, I guess, do as well. But Well, this is fun. Charm necklace. And here's the little charms. That's that one's silver. This one I don't know. Don't know. That's sterling. That does not look sterling. But I think it is. That's silver. Hmm. Interesting. So I will look into this closer. There's definitely some sterling on here. And not sure about that closure, but still very pretty. Ooh, we've got another. And here's the closure. Lobster closure. This looks like silver to me. That looks like it's going to be silver. Hmm. That definitely looks like silver. Oh, that's pretty. The Arizona sun. That's right. It's hot in Arizona. But I love Arizona. I love, love, love Arizona. So this is interesting. I'm going to give this a further look, you know, you know off camera. Um, this is maybe a note from another item. So sort of chainmail kind of style necklace with these dangles. It's a pretty sound. A sterling. Oh, I hope you are sterling. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful lapis. Yeah, it's marked there. Of course, I'll test it and make sure all these little pieces are, but look how beautiful. I'm telling you, this lady has some exquisite taste and colorful and daring colors. The one thing that I, that is unfortunate about YouTube is I don't get to actually meet you guys in person. You know, my local consigners, I get to, you know, hug them and, you know, send them birthday cards and, you know, see them when they come drop their stuff off. But you guys, it's a guessing game. All right, get to know your personality through your jewelry and through your emails. That's the only thing I wish I could change is this. If I could meet somebody. This is Chico's beautiful um, glass beads. That's gorgeous. And makes a really pretty sound. This is a more modern rhinestone necklace, but she's pretty. I like the, oh, I like that construction a lot. 
It's definitely more modern. Ooh, this is heavy. And these are hand knotted glass. And then again here, this is very well made. Not seeing the mark, but it definitely feels sterling to me, but oh boy, wow. I am enjoying this very much. Just an empty baggie. So these are some square cut assorted gemstones. These little spacers might be silver. I'm gonna test them. Oh, a bracelet to match too. So I'm gonna test the little spacers and see if they are silver or not. This is fun. This is loose sight with a little bit of iridescence. It might be a little hard to see through the camera, but that's very cool, very different. Come here, little buddy. Little frog. Oh, he's sweet. Super sweet. Little froggy. Somebody will love that. All right. So we have a multi layer silver tone necklace in very good shape. Oh, these are gorgeous, little Tahitian. Yeah, these are genuine. Probably set with sterling. Those are beautiful, Baroque, Tahitian Baroque pearls. Sterling. Uh oh Man down. If that's an easy fix, I can reset that. So, this construction worries me only because a lot of the copied stuff from the company that is actually called 925, I mentioned them a lot. Um, their construction is very similar to this. I actually think that this might be real silver. Um, I will test it and see, and this looks like rhodochrosite and um, maybe like a, a tourmaline, and I'll reset this stone in there, no problem. That's an easy fix, but this is gorgeous. I'll test it, and I hope that it is sterling because it's beautiful, and even if it isn't sterling, it's still beautiful. It says sterling also. Marked there. You've got these pretty beads. It's like a blue and then a green on the edges. That's a different one. More sterling. Beautiful old chain. And then this, that's fantastic. Beautiful pearl. Another pearl with a little nub in it. Don't know how else to describe that. Beautiful lobster closure. And this is really nice. I see some carnelian agate. I see lots of things and the sound is beautiful. Oh, sterling and opals. I don't see where that's marked, but that doesn't matter. I'll test it anyway. And then little opal beads. Can it be? Yes, they are opals. Those are real opals. If I had my black light sitting next to me, I could glow them for you and show you. Lord, here we go. My fat arm keeps hitting my... I'm in a really cramped space, but by the time you guys watch this video, I probably will have moved everything because we're rearranging stuff to make more room for YouTube because it's not just a little fun hobby, it's become a full-time thing for me now. So cute little butterfly, I've gotta have more room and access to the same stuff I have at my office. As a lot of you ask to, sh to see how I do this or do that. 
So these, I guess, could be used for eyeglasses or maybe just put a closure and you make a little necklace. So this is Essence. Essence made in USA. This might be Calcedony, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a little bit of research. I normally would pass on this type of wiring, but I'm gonna do some research on that and see what I can find. We have a silver tone lobster closure. And then you've got, oh, these are pretty. Some little abalone pieces, little rhinestones in it. That's cool and different. Uh oh, we have green. Green, green, green. I love green. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if these are uranium. I'll hit it again with the black light and see. They may not be, they may not glow, but that's okay. They're still green. And last but not least, Buffalo Horn Boy Shorts. Okay, that's not that's okay. Buffalo Horn. So it's kind of slider bolo style so you can adjust it to and i would say this could pass for boho for sure it's a buffalo horn even the little loops appear to be this would be the back so this would be the front look at that very cool very very cool all right guys that finished this consignment we got down to the very end it was a really fun, deep, deep, heavy box, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I'm so thankful that I'm able to share it with you all. Again, if anybody is interested in working with me, um, just reach out. My contact information, my email address is in the description. Just shoot me an email and we'll go from there. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing something that you've seen in this video, just keep your eye on my auction. Um, I post, I try to post, when a video is freshly posted, I try to correspond it with um, the auction running. Um, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Um, so uh, just reach out if you are if you can't live without something or to see if something has gone up for auction. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time.